This is Abnormal Entertainment. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to lift your glass and raise your spirits with Kevin Moyers. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Kevin Moyers, and welcome to Raise Your Spirits, episode 241, which is also the age of our country right now. How's that for you? Mid-July, we're 241 years old. The country is 200 years older than me. You know, give or take a few months. But, uh, yeah. So, 241. I have not done a show. Uh, it's been, what, two months and, uh, two and a half months. Two and a half months. So, you're probably wondering why. Uh, there are a few reasons. A few that, uh, you know, I get into it a little bit. Why not? Um,. The week that this episode normally would have dropped, um, that Thursday, which would have been, let's see, May 4th was the last episode they put up. So yeah, one week after that was May 11th, um, that was the, uh, the day that I officially, uh, finalized my divorce and I felt weird about recording a show either the day before you know a couple days before or on that day um I didn't know what to talk about to be honest it was a weird thing and um for a relationship that played out uh much of it, you know, was was expressed on this and other shows on this network. Um, it was weird for me to talk about it here. Um, it was a difficult thing in a way. Uh, a lot of emotion there. Some relief considering what I had been put through. Um, so just mixed feelings. Sadness that it came to that. Um, almost a confusion of what the, what is it that I experienced. And... Uh, Being free and clear of that situation completely for a couple months now. Um, still not ready to talk about it openly, publicly. But uh, I've talked to Daniel Garza and I told him that if and when that time comes where I feel like um, really discussing it, and I don't know if it'll be here or on his show, uh, I would like to talk about it with him. I think he's the right person to have that discussion with because uh, he wasn't right on top of the situation like uh, the people that live here in Phoenix that I podcast with, uh, you know, like Jeff, all the Masterpiece folks, uh, you know, people like that. Um or other people that don't, you know, don't podcast that are a part of things. Um, I think they were really close to it and saw a lot of what happened. Um, and I'd spoken with Daniel throughout the whole process of this. Uh, but he's also, I mean, he interviews people on his show so he can ask the right questions and steer things in the right direction when I'm ready to do that. Uh, and again, I might never do that, but I feel that 
what I went through was so shocking and horrifying. And some of the things that came to light through this process were just absolutely jaw dropping for a number of people. Um, including people that were close to my now ex wife for many years. Uh, what happened, what she did, what I discovered. Just shocking stuff. And, um, I, I don't want to get too deep into it right now, but, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm weird about this label and maybe because of, you know, societal stigmas and whatnot, but, um, the term domestic abuse applies here and being a man you don't we don't get that tag very often unless we're considered the abusers but when you are the victim of it it's strange and it doesn't have to include violence that cuz that's what we think domestic we think domestic violence we think physical violence we don't think psychological abuse uh public defamation those kinds of things. And they don't want people to feel that they need to hide that sort of stuff. Um, which would be the reason I'd do it if I did it. Uh, you know, if I did the show with Daniel. So that's, that's really why it would happen if it would happen because I, I would want other people feel like they can openly talk about it without somebody, oh, you're just a pussy, you let this woman. It's not, it's not that simple. It's really not that simple because there's a lot of shit that's just beyond your control. And, um, it's been, it's been difficult and it's coming up on a year. I mean, I'm a couple of weeks away from a year from when shit just, I, I just had to put a stop to it. And even after that point, I, I continued things for a few more months, maybe what, four, a little over four more months, uh, until I just finally just, you know, put the final nail in that coffin. Um... So it's something I'll probably, I'll probably talk with Daniel about it on a show so that other people can feel okay about talking about it. Um, I'm careful about what I'm saying because there were many accusations put out um, that were false. And uh, a lot of just hateful, awful things that were said publicly. Um, and I just, I don't want to fuel any more of that at this point. Um, but everything I say or put out there uh, will be... And I will be very careful about what I say. Uh, if it's opinion, I will state that it's opinion. But when it comes to facts, I will be completely truthful about everything I I say. Um, and it's hard. It's very hard to talk about. So I'm sure you can tell I'm struggling right now. But I had very mixed feelings on that day, and I just didn't—I just didn't want to talk about anything. 
Um, and I also feel that my last few shows haven't been as positive or funny or whatever else uh, as they could have been. Um, I just don't... Uh, I, I don't feel like spirits have been raised. <laughs> and that includes having drinks because, uh, you know, I have a cup of water right now. Uh, with, well, very little water left. But um, I don't think I'm, I'm, I've been holding up to the original spirit of the show. And that's not right. Uh, you know, the original intent of the show was to... Have fun with topics. And we changed things as time went on because Cam and I went, well, okay, you know, gay black man, straight white man. Let's each take our sides of a topic. And, you know, we're so much alike that <laughs> there weren't much uh, or many differences, I should say. Um, but, you know, we each week we do a topic and then we just started talking about different shit, you know instead of general topics and that uh here's this guy's side and here's that guy's side of shit but uh we always tried to have fun and though we were serious at times uh which is okay you know the whole idea raise your spirits get you know hold your drink up have a drink enjoy yourselves have a few laughs and that's not what this show has been lately and i don't want to sit and rant i've done that show and I ended that show after 185 um uh so you know I I've been feeling like I've done a disservice to lately to what the original intent was and again you know feelings about different things uh shortly after um I had my last uh, visit to the court system to get things uh, finalized. Um, Phoenix Comic Con happened, and it was going to be my first um, first time representing Source Point Press, which had my book Scorn. Um, it was my first time representing them at a con because they've been all East Coast, and I can't travel to all of those. It's just you know, it's expensive, and I'm I wouldn't let's face it, I wouldn't be making money. Uh, doing it, I'd be putting my own money out there to appear for this label and hoping that we get into profit with by selling my books. Um, they've had a hard time selling Scorn from the get-go, and there's an easy reason why. Uh, plain and simple, they have uh, writers of other titles and artists of other titles at the booths. What are they going to sell first? They're going to sell their titles first, as I would. You know, that's exactly what I would do. I don't fault them. I don't blame them. But when they have my book at a $20 price point, um, you know, one woman has uh, two or three issues of her books. She sells them for 3 or $4 a piece. So now you've just spent, you know, 8 12 bucks. On her titles, you know, she's going to go, oh, uh, hey, you want to throw this $20 book on top of that? People are going to go, ah, no, I'm good. And she's going to say, okay, thank you for buying my book. Have a great day. And I'm not mad at her for that or any of, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying anybody specific. I wouldn't be mad at her or any uh, any artist or writer there for doing that because their purpose is to sell their title, not everybody else's shit. So um, they've never sold many of my book. Um, we had Rotten Tail, which in truth is Dave's book, and you know I helped him with it. But it's his book, you know, and that's his focus when he's out there. Uh, and he, you know, he helped with Scorn. The same way I helped with Rotten Tail, you know, but it's still, that's my book and Rotten Tail's his book, no matter how you break it down. So, um, that's just how it is. And this is the first time I was going to be able to you know, push my book. 
in a place where I've sold the first two issues, and this is the entire story in a graphic novel form. And uh, they sent everything but <laughs> everything but my book, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not a fucking cashier. I'm not your sales rep. I'm not here to sell everybody else's shit. And and I haven't read everybody else's shit. I don't know how to sell it. You know, I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck these titles are. Outside of Rotten Tail. He's like, whoa, I said a bunch of that. I mean, you worked on that. I'm like, I'm the fourth name listed. You have one contract with me. One. And that's for Scorn. So, what? And it got into a whole thing. And I told the whole story in Masterpiece Theater um, sometime in, in May before Comic-Con happened. So I'm not going to rehash the whole thing. But it turned into a falling out, and I said, fuck it, I'm not working the table for you. I'm not selling everybody else's shit. Not doing it. And, uh, you know, we, we parted ways. So Scorn is in my possession again. And uh, so I'm no longer with Source Point. I mean, there are several titles that have my name on them, um, including Rotten Tail, which, uh, you know, we'll see. It's a completed movie soon. Editing and is being worked on. But um and there are a couple other things. There's a book called Keeping Molly, which I converted a screenplay that Dave wrote into a novel form. But hey, you know, it's still his thing and I I I you know, guess I, I did a lot of writing when it comes to uh rearranging it, you know, making it narrative instead of screenplay. So I, I probably actually take more credit for that than for Rotten Tail, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Um, but, sorry, I'll throw like sounds. I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, but anyway, my name is still over there, source point, but it, it was uh, just a blowout and... He was like, we shouldn't work together anymore. And I think he was just happy to get rid of it, to be honest, because he, he didn't know what the fuck to do with it. He didn't know how to sell it. And the one person that does didn't get the opportunity. So um, something nice came out of that. And I asked my daughter, because she and I are writing a book together. I said, if you had your own comic book label, uh, what would you call it? And she said, Bunny 17. Like, just spit it out. Because that's a Minecraft name she uses or whatever. A character. And uh, I don't know shit about Minecraft <laughs> except she and the Mass Blogster's daughter play it together. But um, I immediately thought of the logo. The rabbit ears making the 17, the whole thing. And I thought that's great. And I'm taking control of this shit again. Which is uh, exciting to me. So uh, we have two books put together. Secondhand Boogers, which is uh, a bunch of essays about raising her very young, uh, the early part of her life. She's almost nine now, but uh, this is the part where she's uh, around two to three years old. So it's it's about that segment of her life. Uh, that is out there. And uh, I also did uh, a Kevin Hates Everything book, the first 56 chapters basically episodes uh in book form because when i originally did the show for the first year i uh wrote it as a blog and then recorded it and put it out as a podcast as well and then when i went 57 through 185 i just did it as a straight podcast so it's a little more rambly i may transcribe those and do a second book um just for fun but uh i Put out an ebook version of the first fifty six. I added one extra chapter, and uh, that was a f- few years ago, like three years ago. I want to say twenty fourteen. I dropped it on my birthday, and um, I decided to revamp it, put it out as a paperback. Uh, you know, made some notes, wrote another chapter, which is actually eighteen pages long. That stemmed from uh, <laughs> me deciding to irritate uh, the baby boomers in my life on the 4th of July by uh, talking about Colin Kaepernick. You know, oh, he's a fucking asshole. Uh-huh. 
sure. Uh, disrespecting the troops. No, he's not. Um, posting about basically his act of protest is the most American thing you can do because this country began with an act of protest. You know, plus slavery and genocide. But <laughs> the first act... As a country, as the United States of America, the first act that was carried out was the Declaration of Independence, which is a protest letter to King George. So protest is how this nation begins. We celebrate protest every 4th of July. And if you don't think we do, then you're a fucking idiot. So I wrote a thing about that, and then I ended up taking that and turning it into an 18-page chapter. Uh, and I had a nice conversation with my dad about that. <laughs> By nice, I mean uh, we're not Facebook friends, and I haven't spoken to him since that day, uh, or maybe the day after, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't like name-calling of kids. You don't name-call your stepkids on Facebook, and you don't name-call your own kids on Facebook. So... Um, you just don't. You just don't. It's it's shitty, especially when I was having a civil conversation. So, um, but I uh, I may have gotten some things off my chest in that conversation. <laughs> but I also did uh, on the Fourth of July. I wrote this eighteen page chapter, and I got the book um, posted up. So uh, I also have uh, some artwork that I did, a little stick figure. <laughs> uh, I mean, not shitty not like you're playing hangman but you know detailed um stick figure characters throughout the book the cover is a stick figure holding up two middle fingers so i went in that theme um did something on the back cover and uh drew some different figures representing different chapters throughout. i couldn't do all 58 chapters there are 58 in the in the book there uh, including the brand new one so and you can only get that in that book and uh, it's basically me explaining uh, what superhero best represents America. <laughs> um, and I start with all the, the Kaepernick stuff and so on and so forth. So, um, But I give my full explanation as to what and why uh, my beliefs are in that, in that realm. So, so there you have it. But, um, yeah, if you would like to get either of those books, and there are many more coming, by the way. Uh, if, if you would like to get any of those, then um, those will be available. Those are available, actually, at bunny17media.com. I have uh, I have paperback and ebook versions of both of those. And I am going to work on the audiobook versions as well. So those will be up really soon. Since I do have the equipment to do that, <laughs> then, uh, you know, the ability to do it, I think it, it'll be pretty, pretty easy to take care of that. So um, I think I will set up. A, uh, a discount code. This is what I'm going to do. I set up a discount code on uh, secondhand boogers and I Kevin hates everything. If you buy those, I wonder if I can do it for everything. Hold on, I'm looking. I'm looking as we speak. If I can set up a discount code. For the entire shop, that'll be awesome. I don't know if I can. I think I have to do product by product. So here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, I'm gonna set up a discount code for uh, secondhand boogers. If you if you buy it through Bunny Seventeen Media and you use the code RYS podcast then I will take two bucks off so it's 9.95 right now it'll drop to 7.95 um, Kevin hates everything is currently on sale for two bucks off as it is so 
Uh, it's fourteen ninety five, and that's four hundred and sixty four pages worth of goodies there. Uh, secondhand boogers is one hundred and eighty no one hundred and eighteen pages, so it's a short one. Um, novella length, but I'll drop two bucks off on that one if you use RYS podcast. So how the fuck is that for you? Huh? I like it. I like it. So, um, there you go. And actually here's what I'll, here's what else I'll do. If you want to buy the, um, uh, eBooks of either of those two, Kevin hates everything or secondhand boogers. I will make them 99 cents if you use RYS podcast. So, there you go. How's that? I just have to figure this all out, how to do it. <laughs> but uh, I'll put them up there. If it doesn't work, just give it a day. It, it should work. I'll have it set up tonight. I'll do it. <laughs> so, yeah. So you'll have that. And uh, and there you go. I like it. I like it. So, anyway. Anyway. Um Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll figure out how I did it. <laughs> I will figure out. Uh, I'll figure out how to set it up. So, either way, that's what I've been up to. Mostly, uh, anyway, I've been focusing on that. Um, we're gonna have uh, uh, my older book, Brain Farts, will be up there. Um, I'm gonna, you know, update it a little bit, do a second edition on that probably add a chapter like it did for um, the Kevin Hates Everything book. And uh, we're going to have Blast of the Clown up there, the comic book that we worked on. Um, Dalen, the artist, Dalen Veeker. Uh, you might know him as the Mass Blogster. <laughs> is, this, is this kayfabe now? I don't know. I don't know how that works. It's shoot. Shoot, that means it's the truth. I don't know, whatever. But he's working on the second issue right now, and uh, we're we're going to put them out as uh, basically adult coloring books um, because it's funny. And we're going to have a color blasto uh, <laughs> page in the very end where uh, we want everybody to send in their shit. So I'm going to start putting pre-order tags up there for that uh, as well as brain farts. And uh, once I get the revamp cover, as well as scorn, including an anniversary edition, which will have a shit ton of stuff because it's been 15 years since I wrote that and, uh, 13 since I initially put out the first issue, but, um, I'm really excited about it. I think, I think we're going to have uh, a pretty good setup by the end of, uh, November. So by the time Christmas rolls around, there'll be a shit ton of books for people to buy, but part of the point is we want to uh, try and get a table at Tucson Comic Con. That's our goal, and um, that'll be our first sort of unveiling of this label. So we've had our, our soft release, more or less. Uh, that sounds weird, huh? <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. <laughs> Our soft release. <laughs> but I'm excited about it. It's It's been really uh, something special to do this, to build a website, to just plow through these books and realize how much I've really written over 15 years. So um, I don't know. I appreciate the support that I've gotten in both my personal life and my working life here, my creative life. And uh, we're working on some video stuff, some other things like that. It's going to be, it's going to be good. When things really were falling apart on the uh, personal life side, that was really started in January. I mean, just, uh, 
me deciding to end my marriage. Um, and I had to for my own sake and sanity. And it's, you know, better for Casey to, uh, to go that route. But I, uh, I got a lot of good support at that time. And one person who was a, a friend I made during the relationship um, said that this would be a better year. <laughs> I said, well, it's already starting out pretty shitty. So let's just say 41 will be better. And she's like, all right, yes, 41. 41 is going to be good. And uh, so far, it's it's been pretty interesting. So 40, no joke, was dog shit. And it really started the day after my birthday last year. The chaos that I suffered through. Um, it started, yeah, started the day after my birthday. And it was just a living hell for the next year. And... Uh, I'm glad to be technically past it. Um, you know, still working out some things in my own head uh, in regard to that. But that's just how that stuff goes, you know. That's how these things work. And uh, Casey's good. She's dealt with it pretty well, actually. Um She's just kind of like, eh, okay, <laughs> which surprised me. I actually thought there would be a more severe reaction, a more devastating reaction. There just wasn't, and uh, I don't know. The kid's been pretty solid. I mean, we have our book together, um, figured out how to format it, and she's going to do artwork for it, which I'm really excited. Um, the main character is a uh, jackalope named Jack Lopez. So it's going to be fun. But, yeah, it's it's geared toward uh, um, not quite teens, preteens, I guess. That's how we decided to put it together. So uh, it's fun. I, I'm really I'm enjoying doing it, and I'm writing three different books right now at the same time. Um, but they're all so different from each other that it depends on the mood I'm in, uh, which one I write. So it's fun, and they'll all be done, you know, pretty much by uh, summer's end. The big one I want to get the one that Casey and I wrote together done to uh, release on her birthday, which is. Good old September 11th. So uh, <laughs> I like to do that. But part of that depends on her doing some artwork. So. Um, but we'll get there. We will get there. It's, it's uh, two months away. But we will uh, we will get that done. So I'm excited about it. it. It was so fun putting that together with her. And now I'm just doing like the actual, like building a story with her. And now I'm doing the actual writing of it chapter by chapter. So. And it's not going to be super long. It's uh, going to be a shorter book, but, you know, meant for a younger audience. So it'll be a little pocket-sized uh, thing, which, you know, these two books that I have up there already are. And uh, I love it. And apologize for that. <laughs> but uh, we're also putting together a Cinema Head Cheese book. Uh Dale and I are putting together this coffee table book, which is a lot of fun. Um, I thought uh, it was cool. It, it's just a picture book uh, with a specific theme. So we're going to uh, get that done. And I don't want to release that so nobody beats us to the punch here. But we're going to have, uh, I think, 13 titles ready to go by the end of November. So, I'm like, like I said, I'm just excited about it all. It's been a lot of fun. So, I just wanted to throw a little update 
out there on what's going on, um, why there hasn't been a show in over two months, and uh, I'm going to be honest, there may not be a show uh, for a little bit. They'll come and go. As uh, I feel like doing them, they'll, uh, they'll pop up. Uh, it's not necessarily going to be like every Thursday or whatever. I'll schedule them for Thursdays usually. You'll get that nice Thursday. Hey, look at this surprise. Um, I still do have my beer reviews, uh, my videos to edit. Uh, I'm not the best at video editing, but I may have some help with that soon. So um, I just talked to somebody, a young guy who uh, is interested in all that. He's done some YouTube work, and uh, he may be able to help with that kind of thing. So. You know, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Just getting those out. I think I have nine of them filmed already. Uh, little simple things, but try to have fun with it and share some good beer with you. So eh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes to get those things done. But there are other things uh, on the horizon as well. So, um, yeah, it's... It's fun. We're just, we're barreling through all kinds of things. Um, Handsome Jay from Masterpiece Theater uh, started his own video show, and he is on uh, YouTube with that. I think it's called Brenansky's Vlog, V-L-O-G. So check that out. Um, his uh, He has a Tumblr, Brenansky's Blog. And I'm sure he links them all in there. So check that out as well. I mean, there's a lot of uh, movie reviews and stuff like that in there. And I don't, I'm not a big Tumblr guy, but uh, you know, there are people that follow that religiously. So check all that out and uh, give him a little bump too. While you're looking for something to do, if you normally listen to this and it's not there for you, I'm sorry, <laughs> but life happens, and. Uh, I don't want to be shitty, and I also don't want to go, well, this is the end of the show, because I know better. I know that uh, things will come up, and I'll want to talk, and this is uh, my place to do it. So um, so there it is, but please head over to bunny17media.com and buy the books. I will get it set so that you get a discount on that RYS podcast. I will figure it out. I'm still... Uh, kind of figuring out Squarespace. It's been pretty cool so far. I like, uh, I've checked it out in the past, but I I think it's better now than it was the first few times I took a look at it. Couldn't really find a template I liked, but I like the one that's up there now. So, um, and soon I'll get pre-orders up for Blasto and things like that. So good stuff. But, uh, other than that, I don't have much else to say. Um, don't want to talk about the president or any of that shit. I just don't. Um, you know, I <laughs> just don't care. So uh, I'm not going to do a song on the way out. Uh, I, I don't know what fits this, but uh, anyhow. Yeah, that's all I have. <laughs> that's all I have to say. But thank you guys for uh, tuning in. As always, head to uh abnormalentertainment.com oh there will be a uh, uh, double d podcast actually is wrapping up um they have uh some changes uh in their lives and zen who i actually finally got to meet in person he came down um to phoenix we had lunch uh checked out a brewery that was that turned out to be really good, and uh, finally got to hang out in person for the first time, which was great. So uh, I think they've they've done 148 so far total, and I think they're gonna wrap it up. Uh, possibly that might do two more. They're at least gonna do one more to wrap up the show, but to get to an even 150 would be cool. So we'll see, but uh, at least they'll have one more episode. So be sure to check out the final. Uh, thing and who knows maybe Jimmy Turtles will be <laughs> that's my my hope and dream that Jimmy Turtles uh, moves forward <laughs> and uh, 
uh, has his own little show. That would be fucking <laughs> interesting. But, uh, you know, maybe uh, I'll get Zen here either next time he's down here or if I ever get my ass up to Flagstaff. You know, it's only two hours away from here, so I really don't have much of an excuse. It's just uh, just time. So, but uh, we'll we'll see what goes there. But uh, they had a, a really good run, and it was a fun show, and I'm glad we had them on Abnormal for uh, probably, I want to say, uh, maybe 40 episodes or so, something like that. I think they were, uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know when we started with them. I know they were up there. They've been around a while, so. And they don't do, like, every week. They do, you know, once a month or, you know, sometimes there'll be a longer gap between shows. But um, it's been fun. I've really enjoyed listening to them and, uh, you know, Postal Brethren. <laughs> so, but uh, but there you have it. So, um, but check out all the other shows. Put it together. Um, Cinema Head Cheese, Cafe with Frankie G, Masterpiece Theater, which if you want to listen to me, go over there. I'm, I've been on it, uh, almost every week. So, um, you know, they'll record two shows at a time. One weekend I didn't go or one Tuesday I didn't go to record. And so I was not on it for two weeks basically, but, um, check that out. If, if you want to listen to me, I'm, I'm there most of the time. So, um, that's a good place. And it's different because I don't have to run the show. Uh, Mass Blogster does that. And uh, it's nice to sit back and be an obnoxious jackass. And uh, <laughs> that's basically what I do over there. So, you know, I'm not responsible for it other than posting it up. So um, good stuff. But I am on, on this week's episode. So go check that out. And it's a fun show. It's a lot more uh, lighthearted and silly, and and uh, tomorrow's episode was almost called Mandy's Cunt, so that's <laughs> and that's her own damn fault. But anyway, <laughs> we we had a good time. Um, yeah. Anyway, I, I'm fucking I'm rambling, so go go check the books out for me, please. Uh, I do appreciate your support there. And there will be more and more content up on that website, bunny17media.com, as uh, the months crank on. So uh, I'll see you. Not sure when, but uh, it could be soon. could be in a month. Um, but uh, I have a lot of book work to do. So don't count on next week. <laughs> but uh, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. So, um Either way, have a good one. Uh, enjoy your time. Go listen to me on Masterpiece. And uh, cheers. Subscribe to Raise Your Spirits on iTunes, Stitcher, and at abnormalentertainment.com slash raise your spirits. Find Raise Your Spirits and Kevin Moyers on Facebook. Tweet at RYS Podcast and at Kevin Moyers. Email the show, rypodcast at gmail.com. And for more podcasts, comics, books, movies, and more, head to abnormalentertainment.com. You've been listening to the Abnormal Entertainment Network. <laughs>